they cite the second law of thermodynamics as to why there can't be an atmosphere next to a vacuum. It's natural law, not science. <laughs> you idiot. There we go. You can't expect the BBC correspondent to know the difference between natural law and science now, can you? Well, my, my oh. point is, if you didn't phrase the question with flat earther and said, if you had a vial full of gas and another vial that was a vacuum and a valve in between, and you opened the valve with the gas filled the available space, everyone would say yes. But the minute you say flat earther, in that context, they have to weasel out somehow. Okay. I think. Um, so the, one of their big things is that they, are, they cite the second law of thermodynamics as to why there can't be an atmosphere next to a vacuum through entropy. Okay. I mean, obviously they don't... Because, because magic pseudophysics reasons. Exactly, yeah. It should be sucked off the planet. Um, yeah, no, it, well, first of all, I think your people are interested because I encounter these people mostly because they send me theories of the universe. Wow. They've explained everything. Um, how, but your question was, how, how does it make me feel? Um, uh, they cite the second law of thermodynamics as to why there can't be an atmosphere next to a vacuum. You know, in, in some way, I don't know if we're going to agree on this. In some ways, <laughs> I kind of admire it. You know, they're, they're using aspects of, of what they consider common sense, yeah. right? And so, but the error they make, of course, is that the universe doesn't care two figs for our <laughs> notion of common sense. <laughs> they cite the second law of thermodynamics as to why there can't be an atmosphere next to a vacuum. Um, and I, I, and I think that's great. Yeah, and I am under their illusions common sense. So, so I don't know. Is that too sympathetic? Uh, presumably, uh, no, you, do, do you just think they're wrong? And, no, uh, uh, so obviously they're wrong. A vacuum. You will see spontaneously the bromine rush. From one to the other. They cite the second law of thermodynamics as to why there can't be an atmosphere next to a vacuum. Uh, uh, obviously so, they're wrong. As much as I don't agree with them, was his answer to, how can you have a sky vacuum when it stands in violation of natural law? <laughs> that was his answer. But they might inadvertently, the globe as this is, push this subject into a protected arena by their own vicious nature. The, the veracity of the attacks on us and the very nature of, 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 of them, they wouldn't be tolerated against any other identifying group. And then I turned around and said, well, if I'd have known you were a transgender, I wouldn't have even had the conversation with you. Yeah, that would result in consequences for me. Well, that's something that may, as a result of their increased vilification of us, get addressed societally.